So this is one example just finding a paint colour. So I'm looking at the Sherwin Williams site online and what I want to do is I want to choose a site. Uh, I'm going to pick the for architects, specifiers and designers and click under color selection find and explore colors and all of these sites change all the time so I, uh, it's not for certain that when you get there it will look exactly like this but if I go paint colors by family um, you can see that I can see like blues and other colors so the way I could find a color would be just on here I'm interested in kind of a sky blue let me see I pick this um, and I can pick on the color sample itself SW6799 I can, I can say show me color details and it will take me to uh, the page that has the sample colors I, I can just look at a couple of other ones that are also blues but I think the one that I'm interested in is the uh, I don't want it to be too overpowering, it's kind of a small space. So this one, um, which is SW6799, and the important bit here is the RGB value. So I've got red, green, and blue, the combination of uh, red, green, and blue that gives me this color. I'm in my project what I want to do is create a paint material. Um, I'll show you how this works before I go any further. If I, if I click on materials, I look in the library, uh, I've already got with the prefix of UCB, I've got a number of different materials. There's some ceramic tiles, some textiles, some paint. I've got this the beige one which was for, I was thinking of putting on the walls. So let me, let me start with that one and then what I'll do is I will uh, adjust it. So I'll say uh, duplicate. This means that I'm going to get all of the settings that are part of that material. And I'm, I'm going to create a, a number 6, a paint 6. So I'm going to say duplicate. I'm going to right click and say rename. And I'm going to call this paint 6 and it's uh, blue and it's going to go on the, the walls. Um, if I double click on this it takes me to the point that I can start to change the description so if, if uh, this is not intuitive so if I have clicked on it what I want you to see up here is where it has the name uh, I need to make sure I'm in the right one it's not uh, the grey one it's the 6 it's the blue so I can see the name of the material. Uh, that black arrow really should, I think, point down the way if it was to be consistent that there's information underneath. So you see that in here I can tell it that uh, what the description of the actual material is. And it was SW, was it 6799? 6799 and it was called uh, SOAR, S-O-A-R. I'm going to say blue just so I know that SOAR is blue. Uh, I can specify the type of the material here. You see that it's a paint and coating. This has to do with the schedules. Um, and actually that description, it says interior finish. I'm going to uh, adjust that a little bit so I can say use that description I can actually tag the interior elevations by picking on the surface of the wall and I can see this read out automatically so it's going to tell me interior finish paint what the paint color is and what it's called uh, down here it's the site that it came from I'm going to change the other values that are in here so uh, the model number is 6799 uh, I could put in a cost per square foot for painting I have no idea what this is going to be but it would be 
Okay, let's say I said something like uh, zero point five dollars. So so fifty cents to paint the square foot of the building. Down here is my my link. Um, I can copy, cut and paste that in from my site. Um, I was looking for I was looking for SW six seven nine nine so there it's there and I'm gonna look at the details. This this way someone can link to it from uh, the the schedule. So if I, I I what I did was I selected up here and I did a right click and said copy and then I'm closing the page on the website and back in here I'm going to use that as my URL so I can say paste and put that in. And I'm not I don't have labels and marks at the moment. I'll come back to that later. Uh, but that was that was under description and that's kind of a hard bit to find because that silly arrow is pointing the wrong way. It should be pointing down to indicate there's information underneath if it were consistent with the rest of the interface. Now the other thing that I want to do here is you'll see that there's graphics and there's appearance. Now I know that the colors for my paint, the RGB values, were uh, red 198, green 222 and uh, blue 234. Uh, usually what I do is I go to the appearance tab first. I've got the way of controlling what it looks like in its appearance when it's rendered or its graphics when it's shaded. But if you look at the graphics one you see you can use you, you can say use the render appearance. So if I change the appearance first I can come in here and I'll just change the values that I've got in my project to say this is uh, blue, matte, interior wall materials and what I want to change is this piece down at the bottom which is when I render my image I want flat matte paint applied with a roller you see I've got those choices um, flat matte say applied with a roller and I want to click on there and, and edit the RGB value so I'm going to say it was 198 it was green was 222. You see the, the, the color is showing here under new and uh, the last part was the 234 which gives me my sky, my blue color, my sore blue color. And I can say okay. Now the reason I did it in the appearance first is if I go back to the graphics and I say use the render appearance. So this is when it shades. It's going to shade using the same RGB value. So uh, there is no pattern uh, because I don't want there to be something shown on the surface, just the color. Uh, there is no cut material because I'm not anticipating wanting to see in plan view any kind of pattern associated with the paint color. So I can say done. And I, I need to be careful here not to cancel out before I've also said down here OK. Um, and now what I should have if I went back to my materials library just to check it is if I look under paint 6 well I've got it, I've got that as one of my paints the UCB I'm using uh, but it probably be the initials of the company that was doing this because it sorts them alphabetically so it would keep all the all the materials together you might even do it with uh, the company name maybe even the project name if you wanted to identify what was used in a project but prob maybe not that much detail just the company name then what you would have on the uh, the abbreviations list so carpet uh, ceramic tile paint and some description that you want to put of what the material is so we've got here we've got this uh, paint six you know I might just uh, rename that was the one I just created. I'm going to just say that it's called Sower so that other people in the team could see what it was going to be. 
it's going to be called, where I'm likely to use it on walls. I'm going to say OK. So back in my project, um, if I if I looked at these uh, these walls, um, and they have materials inside the wall, so I've got gypsum wallboard, five eighths of an inch on the outside and inside of my my wall. But now what I want to do is I want to use a new option that you haven't seen, which is under the uh, the Modify tab. You'll see that there's an option that says Paint or Remove Paint. So if I said Paint, and I'm going to scroll down to the bottom of my screen where I have all my UCB materials there. I'm looking for the one that said uh, Paint 6. There it's there. And I can pick it, and you notice that I can go right onto the wall and paint in the material. And I just did something kind of silly there, which is that I'm looking at this. Uh, oh no, you can see it. It's just it's not such a big difference. So that was I, I put the blue color on there. Let me use a different color on another wall, just so you can see that it is actually working. So if I go under paint. Let me go take one of the more prominent colors. Let's say, uh, and just just to make the point that it's um, there's a brown. So you see what would happen is if I pick the surface. Oh, that's not very good. Let me try that again. Should have made a very prominent red one. Let, let, let me use the, uh, the the tile that's here. So this is actually a different type of material, but the point that I'd want to make is that it's not just paint materials that you can put on. I could actually like say to it that what I want is to put those tiles onto the surface here. So I can I can paint the surface of a material just by uh, by selecting it.